Hi guys. So I am ready to start painting. I have my bright yellow and then I just did three new colors. I Okay, so these will not have silicone in it. I am trying the one part paint to the two parts Floatron. I put the Floatron through mesh and I did like little lines. Hopefully, let me see, turn this other light on. I did like little lines on it so I can measure it correctly. I did put some water in it. So this is my new Amsterdam Azo Yellow Deep. This is um, a Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Paint Wild Honey. I finished that one. And then this one is um, Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. So, and then I have my yellow. So this is going to be predominantly yellow um painting actually nope i think i'll do the little ones that'll be better um and um then i'm gonna do so i'm trying to do like my roy g bib colors first and then i'm gonna add a couple other ones onto it um I also got, I did my big mix of my uh, white and pouring medium. I think I'm going to do a dirty cup. The last two that I did, which I'll drop pictures in. So R and B are done. So I'm doing yellow and orange. I am going to put some metallic teal into it and a little bit of green because I just there were other colors in the other one I took my yellow pour meeting and I didn't like the way like I did one part white to two parts Floatron and it was too thick for me I couldn't really move it around so I did this today and I put some water in it and I did water in those um I should probably do two new ones here because I do want to see, actually, I'm going to do two new ones. Hmm. You know what? I'll do them with you here since it's only two. And you can see what I did. Because I just, I'm trying to have no silicone, silicone in it. Let me get my little, this is my little box. This is my teal. Let's see. And I'll do that Tim Holtz and I have a ruler here's my ruler and marker and this is what I did before like off camera so I put the ruler in and I marked half inch one inch one and a half inch two so that's that one half inch one inch one and a half inch too. And it is getting filled up to the top. Shake, shake, shake. So I'm putting this to the first line. The next time I buy this, I'm gonna buy the larger size because I squeak, squeak. <laughs> so, because I absolutely use that. Flip that upside down. These Tim Hole paints are kind of old. Um, I, I live in New Jersey and was have lucky enough when they used to do their their Ranger sales, and you would go down to their warehouse in New Jersey in um, Titten Falls, and I really miss them. And they would sell things by the weight, so you could just grab whatever you wanted. Their stamps, their ink pads, their paints, their all their mixed media stuff. It was wonderful. And I would spend like $200, but walk out with so much stuff. Um, I brought my kids with me. So they helped me load up. Yep. 
and they have two metal balls in here, so I gotta get them out. I always try to do it without them tipping in there, but that never actually works out, so. Just scoop them out. Come on, come on, there you go. That one got there, perfect. <laughs> this one's gonna be a problem, there we go. All right, let me see if I can get any more metallic blue out. Oop, feels like it's, there we go. I hate wasting even a drop, especially of teal. No, 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 no waste. All right, so these two colors. So now I get my strainer, which now I probably shouldn't use because it has water in it, right? Oh no, because I'm gonna put some water in it, so that's okay, that's okay. All right, let's get the lines. And I'm just pouring up to the second line. And again, I've been straining this, but I gotta tell you, there really hasn't been any goo going in. It kinda, oh, too much. A little too much. It's been going and clean with nothing really going to the surface but I'm going to continue to do it because I think it's smart but I haven't gotten any goo thankfully and I just dumped that into a water so the glue so you know the Floatron doesn't harden and then we mix this one's got a lot and it but that's okay because I use a lot of the metallic teal I think the metallic teal goes on every single thing that I do, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I just, I love it. My walls in my living room are teal, and then I have a lot of teal decorations that are in other rooms, so. I could probably live with teal. It's a very happy color, don't you agree? All right, so I'm gonna mix this one, let that set for a moment, see if we need any water. So this is gonna be my first official painting with uh, no silicone with the one to two Floatron mixture. Now, a lot of people do it and they get beautiful cells. And I don't think when I was trying to just do it, I was doing like one part, one part with water and I wasn't getting anything. Like it was just a regular, which I don't mind, it's okay not to have the cells, but for these, especially these next two paintings, I do want cells in them. So that's actually pretty fluid, but I'm gonna just put a little water in these because I wanna stay consistent with all the paints. So now this is very fluid. Actually, it's probably perfect. It's still not really dripping the way I would want it. I think the Floatron makes it like a little thicker, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? You want it. That's good. All right. All right, okay, so let's put this back and start having a little fun. And I am, I'm gonna do a dirty cut flip because like I said, the other ones that I did was like leftover paint and I just took the canvas and went So it's more like a dip, but in the end, it kind of still looks like what I want it to look like. So I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna do green. No, I'm gonna do yellow first. Then I'm gonna do green. And that, this is 
Tim Holtz Distressed Paint Mowed Lawn. Because I don't think I said the color before. And for these six by six canvases, you do not need a lot of paint. It goes, especially if I put white around it, it, it goes pretty far. And then I'm gonna just do a smidge of the yellow and I'm pretty sure these two don't have any silicone in them. So, I mean, I'm gonna do orange. And they're, they're Floatron, they're probably the one for one but with a little bit of water. Put a little bit of wool. Let that sit for a while. I was spraying the jar, the containers with this silicone blaster which then the paint just came right off it but then that kind of defeats the purpose of not having silicone in my paint because I think that it gets in the paint so I don't know I don't know about you guys but I'm confused with all this stuff too like what's the best recipe it's pretty I guess this table is not really level because it does tend to go to the back there, but it's, it should be level. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these out because I'm going to tip it, but I'm going to tip it into this. So this is, of course, more green <laughs> than yellow, which how many times does that happen? A lot, actually. Let's see if I can get more of the yellow out of here. No, I'm like losing all the yellow. So maybe this will be my green painting, considering I only put a little bit of green in here. Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump some yellow into this. Oh, that was way too much yellow. Way too much yellow. All right, let's see what we can do here now. I think I'll blow it a little. get more yellow but I think this is going to be my green and my teal is literally going away I haven't been having good pours I don't know what I'm doing just want to do it and it's just not coming out the way I plan on it hate when that happens. All right, let's get back here and see what we can do with this. All right, well, I do, I, I, I want to <coughs> torch it. Let's see, I didn't even put gloves on today. See, now I don't see any cells. Really, a little bit right here is popping up. Little, very little cells. Okay, a lot more. All right, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Hmm. 
Yep. Lots more cells. Okay. <laughs> I spoke way too soon. I guess with the silicone, you don't really need to torch it. The cells just really, I mean, you do need to torch it, but the cells just kind of come to the surface. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. All right, I definitely spoke too soon. I'm thinking I am liking this. Now they are little, which I am okay with. I kind of like the white here and the white here. I, I want something right there. What do I want? So I got a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange right there. A little bit of orange maybe just a little orange right there but I don't, it won't even pop up it'll just be on the top so let's see if I can get this to just do a little drop that I can blow up there with a straw wanted that kind of more oh, there goes my blow dryer all right that's better I like that I like that let me torch this again see if I can get anything to pop up underneath that Cells popping. All right. Now I need you to tell me. I'll take some pictures. Do you think this is more of the yellow or more of the green? I'm thinking this is going to be a green. I definitely think so. So I think I'm going to do another one. And that one is going to just be the yellow with a little bit of the blue. And a little orange so let's put this into the drying area let's see if there's gonna be a And then I have extra paint there that you all drop this in at extra as well. So let's try again. So what did I do? I did the green kind of in the middle. It didn't, usually when you do the yellow on the bottom, it comes out. Let's do teal. And I think this teal is very watery. I think that was a problem. Let me do orange. Okay. This last, actually I'm gonna do this yellow. And then do a smidge of this because that's thin. All right, and I think I might do a little white on top. Let's see what that does. So let's pour a little white around it. All right. Oh, I didn't flip it first. <laughs> All right, good job. Look, nothing leaked. Yay. Let that drop. Thanks for watching.
I like that I feel like I, like you guys are all sitting around my table and we're just chatting. <laughs> I like that. Because I'm excited that I have people that follow me and that comment. And I love your comments, so thank you. All right. Oh, I'm liking this and I see a lot of yellow. Oh, look how pretty that is. Like, I would love to be able to save the cups like that. All right, so this is going to go in there. I'll just wash that one out. Let me torch this because I didn't do that last time. Oh, look. So, so, so. All right, so. Here, we'll do this side first. Actually, I'm just going to get it to the edges. A little birds off because then I'm gonna go like this because I really want to keep the yellow Let's see what happens here oh yes I am loving this all right I want to keep the white there get it down here Look at that teal popping out, love. And I still have a lot of yellow. I'm very happy with this one. I'm not even done with it. Happy, happy, happy. All right, let's come back to this corner. Let's get a little bit of the yellow down there. Come on, come on, there we go. Turn on this so you guys can see it. All right. Oh, love. 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 Oh my God, look at my hands. <laughs> Paper towels. I think what I'm going to do with this leftover paint is do some of those mixed media cards if I can clean my hands up enough to open them up and not get paint all over it. We can have a little fun with that and actually even just drop it into what's underneath it. Okay, let's torch this and see what happens here. So I think I found the recipe that I like. I love what this is doing. You do definitely need to torch it a little more than you would with the silicone in it. But what excites me is that I can like, these are done like in like, like two weeks, not even two weeks. Like a lot of people a week after they paint them, they're dry enough because you don't have the silicone in it. Um, I probably would let them go to, oh my God, I love, oh, oh, you guys, wait till you see this picture. Yeah, you definitely need to spend some time torching this. Holy cow, they're still popping out. that a little <laughs> a little too much torching there all right oh my goodness this is beyond yummy holy crap Ola. okay so I'll pop up a picture here and um, you guys can see what this looks like but this is insane. Let me see if I can get this closer. Look at that. I'm going to just move it over. I'm going to clean my hands. So thanks for watching me not do two canvases and not achieve yellow. <laughs> but we still had fun. And I figured out my new recipe. I'm very happy with this. I absolutely love this. And while I know, I don't actually have an orange. So 
this is probably going to be my orange and I might put another layer on the other one depending on how it dries so uh we will see thank you for watching love you guys